the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Now, please, I'd like you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray. Pastor, please, can you join me? Let's just pray together. As the convener of this conference we're going to bow our knees before the lord jesus christ declaring over your requests and no you don't have to kneel we are the ones who will do the kneeling yours is just to stretch your hands by faith and then we'll make declarations um when we pray i'm going to give him the mic just to make a declaration and then i wrap up and we'll do the final prophecy and impartation and we're done please if you are yet to submit your request just do it very quickly just do it very quickly in the name of Jesus. Be patient. We're almost done. But your life is about to change because this request here is the most accurate representation of your desires. And the Bible says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it. Can you begin to pray in the spirit while we pray? Just stretch your hands towards these requests by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Karuska debrendege barakatoshka lebrendege balatia. Paroga da zata brandege balakosiata. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Father, King of glory, Jesus stood in front of the grave of Lazarus and he said, Father, I thank you because you always hear me. Nothing is impossible to you as the voice of Jesus over this prayer point, we begin to decree and declare results in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, roll the stone away. I decree and declare every limitation, everything that has been blocking the destinies of men, everything that has kept you in the grave, everything that has hidden you in the dark, I command the stones to be rolled away. Lift up your heads! 
Zoe gates and be lifted up you everlasting doors according to this prayer points written here let the stones be rolled away and Jesus declared with authority and command Lazarus though you've been dead for four days come forth right now by the anointing of the resurrection power at work in this atmosphere everything that is yours that has died everything that you are asking God for that you have not seen I command them come forth and Jesus said hi hi Lose that man and let him go. Go tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Every oppression of darkness, every rope, everything that has tied your prayer points down. I decree and declare by the authority and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Lose that woman. Lose that man. Lose that child. Lose that girl. Lose that boy. Lose that church. Lose that marriage. Lose that business. Lose that pos position. And let them go. Woman, thou art loose. Man, thou art loose from that spirit. Girl, thou art loose. Institution, businesses, enterprises, positions that were rightfully yours. I command it to be loose. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. He that was dead after four days. Was brought back to life rejoicing. Thank you father for resurrection power. Over these prophecies. Over these requests. Over these pleads. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And we seal this prayer by declaring. In the name of Jesus, that these Egyptians you see today, that in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, you see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. And prophetically, we stand upon this request. Everything that has risen above you, we bring it under your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We declare it done. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Now, this final phase, I want you to pay attention. I just want to speak over your destiny and over this city. And we're done. He said, son of man, can these bones live again? And he says, only thou knowest. Then he said, prophesy. Prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. Please pay attention. There are two dimensions to the prophetic. There is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic. It is for edification, for direction, to build faith in you. But there is the creative dimension of the prophetic. This does not tell you what is happening. It makes it happen. When the prophet said, by this time tomorrow, he was not announcing in advance what would have happened. It never would have happened. There are things in your life that may have no business happening, but prophecy can make it happen. 
He says to appoint unto them that mourn. To give them beauty for ashes, it says. Joy for mourning, a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the oaks or trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Is it not in your Bible that when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he says we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad. Then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south or the Negev. He says that he that sows in tears that he shall reap in joy. Is that true? father in the name of jesus we have been commanded to bless and by the power that raised christ from the dead i speak over your life house on the rock mina niger state in the name of jesus let your current season come to an end now i announce to you a new season in your life a new season of glory a new season of power a new season of encounters in the name of Jesus Christ. Every time you saw Gabriel on earth, he was coming to announce seasons. That a season had ended and one had begun. I sense in my spirit that there are several people here that this conference is ending a season truly in someone's life and beginning another. Again, I prophesy let your current season some of you is spiritually your current realm of operation as far as the anointing is concerned we bring it to end and we open a new one help help her please help the woman of god we bring it to end now and we open a new one in the name of jesus christ please pay attention He said, the donkey that your father is looking for has been found. I stretch my hands. Everything that has left you, that should not have left you, I stand by the rod of the prophetic and the apostolic. Wherever it is, opportunities, relationships, I call them back to your life now. I call them back to your life now. hallelujah there are many of you who are gifted and graced people but the helpers of destiny who will identify what you carry and announce you have not been there you continue to bring a global gift in the face of mediocrity no visibility but I pray for you in the name of Jesus every man every institution every system that must identify you in this season and help announce your grace to your world wherever they are i call them by prophecy to your life now in politics in business in ministry receive the ministry of destiny help us listen joseph was a gifted young man but he was in the prison where criminals were it took someone who was already with the king there are times you are gifted but you don't yet have access to the throne you need one who is already in the palace to speak for you because the wine presser forgot about joseph he added two years to his pain i opened the book of remembrance concerning you and in the name of jesus where you have been forgotten may god cause the helpers of your destiny to remember you in the name of jesus christ Please pay attention. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Many of you have been part of the lifting of others. You have been part of the rising of ministries. You have been part of the political destiny of many. There are certain stories that can never be mentioned without your name. Yet the reward that follows that diligence has not come to you. 
Mordecai was such a man. They would have killed the king cheaply, but for the ministry of Mordecai, and yet he remained at the gate. But my Bible says that night the king could not sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. When they opened it, he said, what has been done to this man? And a wicked man called Haman, thinking it was him, he made the best suggestion. And he said, do the same for Mordecai. I pray for you. Again, whatever it is that you have done in time past, that should be a memorial for your lifting. And you have been forgotten. May my God, who is also your God, remember you in this season. name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare over your life everything you have started and you should have finished by now I hope you know that the unit of destiny is time I decree and declare every project ongoing that you have begun and it looks like you are unable to finish it the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work in the name of Jesus that same hand will complete it same hand will complete it that same hand will complete it in the name of Jesus and anybody holding what is yours everyone holding what is yours I overturn 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 until it gets to your hand in the name of Jesus Christ I hope you know that the two men who were holding loaves of bread it was not for them it was for Saul but it was in their hands but when Saul met Samuel he said as you return you will see two men holding loaf they will salute you and give it to you if it is yours by God, then it should enter your hand. I pray it again. Every opportunity, every access, every door, every dimension of grace that should come into your possession and has not yet entered your hand. I call upon my God who is your God. Let there be a miracle for you right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please hear me. I want to pray a very important prayer right now. Let it not sound like arrogance, I apologize. You see, the apostolic and the prophetic, according to God's organogram for the body, um, the apostolic is the office mandated with the responsibility to enthrone kings. A kingmaker may never become a king himself, but he can enthrone kings and he can remove kings. Is that true? There are presidents of nations today, CEOs of corporations that are currently in jail by the people they once headed. Because even though they were kings, they were not kingmakers. Are we together now? Yes. Samuel never became king over Israel, but there was no king who became king outside of his influence. There are graces that enthrone. It's not pride, it's the truth. You can be functioning in an office with no throne in the realm of the spirit backing you. And you'll be frustrated. As at the time Samuel anointed David, Saul was still sitting on the throne. I truly believe that in this season of glory, there are people who need to be elevated to superior levels of influence. Do you know why? Listen, 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 listen. Do you know why? It's not just for the sake of advancement. God needs to find a people strategically positioned across systems and structures so that kingdom come can be a reality. If the systems and the structures are not occupied by people who have a kingdom understanding, there will be a problem. Therefore, I pray in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the election of grace, every dimension as far as your influence is concerned, that you should step into 
I release my faith with you and I declare the anointing that enthrones may that anointing rest on you now help them the anointing that enthrones in the name of Jesus politically spiritually financially in business in your career may that grace rest upon you now 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 let me pray over our finances you cannot talk about glory and not talk about wealth the body of Christ has shied away from this to our detriment and others have approached it from a carnal standpoint to the detriment of their relationship with the Lord but can I tell you a people not empowered financially empowered are a people who will remain slaves forever the Bible says the rich ruleth over the poor and it says a borrower is slave to the lender it says the rich and the poor meet together God is the maker of them all he never said God made them so he made them all their decisions and their understandings separated them into those cadres. I want to pray for you there is the prophetic contribution that comes into the wealth equation of a man there are principles of value diligence relationships etc but I tell you there is a prophetic advantage he said by this time tomorrow and a foolish man came and stood and said, Oh king, will it be so that the windows of heaven will be opened? And the prophet said, You will see it, but you will not eat of it. He died at the gate there, the gate of abundance. I pray for you by the mercies of God. I decree and declare for many of you here, between now and the next three months, like the ark of God that was in the house of Obed Edom in the name of jesus christ step into strange dimensions of financial blessings you will marvel and wonder at the kind of favor that begins to come upon your life i declare to you one more time step into a level of financial blessing personally and corporately personally and corporately step into that level of financial blessing in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I pray for everyone who is a part of this church family as the host even though I know this is a meeting that is for the entire body of Christ within this region but honor must be given to the the set man and the vessels that have been part of this therefore permit my bias house on the rock mina i speak to you in the name of jesus all who have labored financially labored spiritually day and night i understand that many of them had to stay overnight vigils to do the work in this auditorium in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god by this time quantum leap 2022 return 10 times better I pray for your spiritual fire nothing will diminish your passion and your hunger for God nothing will diminish your passion and your hunger for prayer your hunger for the study of the word your hunger for fellowship in the house of God command extraordinary results in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that your life everyone here and those following online that your life will be a consistent effulgence of the glory of God that all of the dimensions that have been captured in God made available to and for the saints that at the end of this quantum leap conference it will not just be that you attended a powerful conference but that your life will be a testament of this this I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen pastor pete thank you i love you with all my heart house on the rock mina god bless you in jesus name
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please get ready for the evening service. We're going to have a revival night. The theme of that service is the overflow. The overflow. And you're going to have an overflow of what you have experienced this morning. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. If you believe that, say a loud amen. amen. I celebrate each and every one of you and thank every pastor, every minister, every leader, every dignitary that attended. We celebrate you and we thank you so much for coming. Please, can we rise? Let's rise. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you and grant you peace on all sides. I decree and declare that surely his goodness and his mercies, they will follow you all the days of your life. You dwell mightily in his presence forever and ever. Somebody shout it loud. Amen. Amen. See you in the evening and come prepared with faith in your spirit. Amen. <laughs> How many of us are ready to praise God tonight? Come on. Lift up your voice. I lift my hands to worship. I lift my voice to worship. Only you, hey. only you. I lift my hands to worship. I lift my voice to worship. Only you, yes, God. Only you. Everybody say, I lift my hands. To worship, I lift my voice to worship only you, only you, oh God, only you. Hey. I lift my hands to worship, I lift my voice to worship only you. Yes, God, only you. Oh, yeah. I lift my hands. Clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. 
dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete katos kete branda kata pagotos koto prekete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.